Hi guys, just on route to London for our VTS session at West Middlesex VTS. Look forward to seeing some of you guys there. I thought we'd do a quick video on primary hyperparathyroidism. Remember, you have primary, secondary, and tertiary. We're just focusing on primary here. Now, primary hyperparathyroidism can happen usually due to an adenoma sitting on the parathyroid gland, but it can be due to parathyroid uh, hyperplasia and also malignant lesions that sit on the parathyroid as well. But in essence, you're getting an excess pumping out of PTH, so you're getting very high PTH levels. And this can lead to things like high calcium, and that's how it's normally picked up. There's some other changes that can happen as well. So your calcium goes up, your PTH goes up, your ALK-FOS go up, but usually things like your phosphate go down. It's worth remembering that. In terms of presentation, it's usually due to things related to high calcium. So things like bony pain, abdominal pain, uh, mood can go down, for example, dehydration, thirst, all worth thinking about when you have someone who presents with hyper parathyroidism. Now in terms of treatment, usually surgical excision is what's thought about first. So get rid of the problem that's causing the problem. So um, you may go and operate around the parathyroid. But remember, if you do do surgery involving the parathyroid, you've got to think about checking calcium levels for a couple of months going forward because you can get that reactive hypocalcemia afterwards. So primary hyperparathyroidism, usually due to an adenoma or a problem in the parathyroid itself, pumps out excess PTH, treatment think about removing the problem in the first place hope this helps hashtag can pass will pass see some of you guys soon